chefs and welcome to the kitchen of Spice It Up! Today I'm gonna share with you my third Christmas dinner starter. I'm gonna share with you assorted crostini di polenta. One is gonna be a nice milky thick cream of bacalao aka codfish and the second one it's gonna be a creamy mushroom pate with some crunchy mushrooms on top. Super easy to do and just a few ingredients, I'm gonna show you the ingredients you're gonna need and let's spice up assorted crostini di polenta. For the polenta crostini you're gonna need some instant polenta and it's perfect because it's also gluten free and this is the one that takes just a couple of minutes to cook which is super easy and makes my life easier. And you're gonna need some water to finish the polenta off and some salt. For my first type of polenta crostini I'm gonna do one with codfish aka bacala. This I have already desalted and I took the skin off and now it's perfect and ready to be cooked. Then you're gonna need some milk, you can exchange this for soy milk or anything but just be careful that there's no added sugar if you're just exchanging it. You're gonna need some good quality extra virgin olive oil, a clove of garlic and some fresh parsley. For my second crostino di polenta, which is the mushroom pate, you're gonna need champignons. These I have already cleaned and sliced up. Then you're gonna need some garlic, some, once more some fresh parsley. Then since I'm jazzing it up and changing it into a pate, you're gonna need some butter, some room temperature unsalted butter. Uh, just a few hazelnuts, two hard boiled eggs, a pinch of salt, and a quarter, of, a quarter of a glass of brandy. This is totally optional, but it just adds the this, this extra <clears throat> to the plate. You're gonna start by doing your instant polenta. The first thing you wanna have is some boiling water. With the amount of water you're gonna need, you just follow the instruction on the box of the polenta. To the boiling water, you're gonna add some salt. And now, you want to move quite quickly because polenta just takes seconds to go but it can form lumps. Polenta is an amazing plate to have on your Christmas table because it's gluten free and it's a really really nice easy recipe to do. You want to have a handy dandy whisk on your hand and just pour in your polenta in the boiling water and immediately start whisking it out. Turn down your heat to low because polenta can just spit everywhere and it's super hot and you can get really easily hurt. So just whisk it quickly like this. It just takes a couple of minutes because this is instant. As you can see it's smooth with no lumps. This looks perfect. Now what you want to do to make your polenta crostini is get some plastic paper, plastic film and I'm just gonna pour my, ho my hot polenta onto the plastic film. And just evenly spread it out on your paper. Uh, you're aiming at having approximately one centimeter thick big slab of polenta. I'm gonna just cover everything up with another piece of plastic wrap. You wanna let this rest until it's nice, firm and cold. While my polenta is cooling down and becoming nice and firm, we're gonna move on to my mushroom pate. First thing you wanna do this time is put your heat on to high, Drizzle in some extra virgin olive oil, take your garlic, give it a nice boom so that all the flavors can get out and, and add it to your pan. Let your oil infuse with the garlic flavor for a couple of seconds. I'm adding my champignon. I'm just gonna let these saute for a couple of minutes until they're nice and fully cooked. I'm gonna show you the next step. While your mushrooms are sauteing, I'm gonna just chop up some fresh parsley. My mushrooms have been sauteing for one minute. They have sweated nicely. I'm gonna take out my garlic, 
just gonna add a touch of my bread. Add a good spring roll of parsley. I love parsley in my mushroom. A pinch of salt. Perfect. You wanna take your blender and just pop half of your mushrooms inside your blender. I like to keep some to top up my pate and all your other ingredients in the blender. Your egg, your nuts, and just blend your way. And now you're gonna add your butter. And here you have it, perfect creamy consistency. Now, I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for a couple of hours until it's nice and firm and we can serve it on our polenta. Moving on to my baccalà manticato. You're gonna switch your heat on to high, add in your usual drizzle of oil. You're gonna take as usual your garlic, give it a good boom so that the flavors can come out and add it to the extra virgin olive oil. Now that my oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna take out my garlic because the fish is very delicate in flavor and I don't want to overpower with the garlic. You're gonna take your cod and gently add it to your oil. You're gonna just let it absorb the oil and then just gently add in a bit of your milk. You wanna just add a little at a time. You're gonna need approximately one and a half glasses of milk and just add it gently a little at a time so that the cod can suck up the milk. You want to overcook the cod because you want it to be nice, soft and it has to become like a puree. And when we get there, I'm going to show you how it looks and what you do next. As you can see, my cod fish has become a nice puree. I just added two cups, approximately two glasses of milk. And now it's nice and it has the perfect consistency I was looking for. I'm not adding salt to this because the bacala, which is kept under salt, it's super salty, so it doesn't really need much salt. I'm adding some fresh parsley, like this. Perfect, and the smell is just incredible. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy blender. I'm just gonna add the cod to the cup. Blend your way through, just adding your extra virgin olive oil as you go. And this process is called mantecare. This looks perfect. As you can see, it has the perfect mousse consistency. This is done. My polenta has cooled down and now it's nice and firm and we're ready to make our polenta crostini. I have just this cute heart-shaped and Christmas tree shaped uh, cutter, but you can just cut it with a knife and skew. And you just want to make your crostini. Have a grill, a grill pan on high heat and just put your crostini on the pan to grill. See how easy it is to make? Let them cook on both sides for about one minute, click them over after one minute, cook them for another minute on the other side and your crostini are done. You're gonna just top them up with your toppings and you're ready to serve. Just take some baccalà manticato onto your polenta. Do the same thing with my mushroom pate. You have it. Top it up with a mushroom. And here you have it, your assorted polenta crostini allspice stock for you. If you like this recipe, please remember to give a big thumb up to this video and comment down below to let me know whatever you want me to do next. In the meantime, I'll continue with my Christmas dinner recipes. I'm just gonna taste one. Mmm. Well. 
It's so good. You need to try these out. And in the meantime, buon appetito.